okay. Well, hello. You guys doing good? I'm good, thanks. Uh, I'm from Callahan, Georgia, and I don't know if you heard of it, we have a Nike outlet. It's a pretty big deal. Anybody else? No. Anybody here from the South at all? Anybody here? Are you? Where are you from? New Orleans. Oh, sorry about that. Next customer. Anybody else? Uh, wasn't quite prepared for that. Kentucky. Kentucky. Mm. <laughs> isn't it weird to be in a bar where the women aren't pregnant? That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> so, it's always pretty weird. <laughs> I'm from Georgia, dude. I know exactly what that's like. It's nothing like going home to your hometown, like for Christmas. You walk into your favorite hometown bar that closes at like 9 p.m., pretty late. And there's a girl in there with a belly full of babies, and you're like, wow, Sheila, you look great. <laughs> what are you doing different, huh? <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm drinking Bud Light with this one, yeah. <laughs> Last one came out kind of fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, uh, maybe nobody would notice he was fat if he wasn't so freaking retarded. <laughs> I don't know, just a guess. Not sure. That's just a joke. There aren't any pregnant girls in bars in the South. They're not old enough to get in, so. <laughs> That's just the truth. <laughs> There's so many rules and restrictions. Like, in my town, <laughs> there weren't a lot of options growing up. Like, you were either Southern Baptist or you were getting ready to move. Right, sir? That's right. <laughs> Not a lot of choices. So the whole time I was growing up, all I ever heard was, don't have sex, Sarah. Don't have sex. Don't have sex, you'll die and burn in hell. Don't have sex. But we had a daycare center in my high school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not for the teachers. <laughs> For the students. Maybe nothing just to walk to class every day and see a girl pregnant out to here carrying three more. That's just a Thursday. <laughs> Not a big deal. And these girls walk around barefoot and pregnant all day, but because of them, I, saw, I started to have to wear shorts two inches below my fingertips. Like Mormon knee knockers or whatever. I was like, I don't think short shorts are the problem here. <laughs> I think a six pack of Budweiser and a vagina are the problem. <laughs> here. And it was always the white girls that got pregnant. Always the white girls. It was never the black girls, you know? It was never the Mexican girls. Because they weren't allowed in our school, but that's different, I guess. That's, that's a little different. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get out of high school. My favorite day of high school was graduation. I could not wait to get out. And I got a call like a week ago from somebody in my hometown. They're like, Sarah, we need you to help plan the class reunion. Yeah, can you help us do that? No, I can't. I live in LA. No, we really need your help. Fine, let me tell you how I can be a service. Why don't you just go knock on their old home door? I'm sure they still live in the same freaking house. It's been 10 years. I don't think anybody's gone anywhere. Why don't you just put a post-it note up at Cracker Barrel? I'm sure everybody will figure it out. <laughs> Better yet, just have it at Cracker Barrel and everybody will be there anyway. I don't even want to go. I don't even want to go, but I know I'm going to go. I know I'm going to go because I'm going to be like, I look good. <laughs> I'm going to go. I don't want to go because I know exactly what they're going to say. They're going to be like, oh, little Miss Hollywood, you've changed. Mm. You've changed. Well, I should hope so. It's been 10 years. I don't want to marry Zach Morris anymore. I've moved on. <laughs> Maybe the problem is you haven't. <laughs> uh, I know it doesn't look like it, but I did go to college. I did. I went to the University of Georgia on a field trip in eighth grade. Beautiful campus. I really like that place a lot. No, I did. I went. <laughs> I actually graduated from college with honors, you know. And everybody was like, "Sarah, the only reason you graduated with honors is because your daddy's on the board of directors." <laughs> I was like, jokes on you, I slept with my professors. I'm not an idiot. You know, I figured that out on the first day. I'm, a, I'm 27 and I'm single. So in Los Angeles, I'm a commodity. But in the South, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I don't even. 
I don't understand how that works. I didn't even know what a lesbian was until I got to college. I was just really sheltered when I was growing up. And I don't know what it is about lesbians in college, but they're worse than like anybody I've ever met. They'll knock on your door at like two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. This one girl, Chloe, used to do that all the time. I was like, Chloe, you're the worst Jehovah's Witness ever. <laughs> you know? She'd always say the same thing. She'd be like, Sarah, just experiment, huh? <laughs> Just experiment. I was like, Chloe, first of all, inappropriate. Second of all, okay. <laughs> I'll try anything once. <laughs> I don't know what it is. After you have one lesbian experience, maybe you know this man, but after you have one, you know, <laughs> you're always like, I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> You know, I was like, I'm never gonna do that again. And then some jerk off steps around the corner and they're like, never say never. <laughs> never say never, never say never. Like you just said it eight times. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, but in life there's a few things that I am never going to do, okay? I'm never gonna buy running shoes from a place called Athlete's Foot. I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> all right? I don't buy my underwear from a place called Yeast Infection. No, thank you. <laughs> All right? I'm never gonna rent a car from a place called Hertz. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like fun ride, that's all. No offense. And I know I'm Southern. I know that I'm Southern, but I'm never gonna sleep with my cousin. Sorry, Kentucky, I'm not. All right? Because he's married to my sister and that would be wrong. <laughs> I do come from a good family. My, dad, my dad's a real cool guy. He's a real tough guy because he fought during the Vietnam War, you know? Mostly in bars with his friends, but that was just a <laughs> phase, I think. He's a good dad, the kind of dad that always let me hold his beer when he was driving, just a good guy, you know, like a really, really good. He actually gave me my name, my name's Sarah Tiana. He gave me the name Tiana, he said, that's a Native American name, and you should be proud to be a Cherokee. I was like, I don't know a lot of Native Americans named Tiana, Dad. <laughs> but he knows a lot more people than I do. But I was thinking about it the other day, I was looking at myself in the mirror, I do that a lot. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, first of all, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, uh, second of all, maybe I am Native American, you know, because I look really good in turquoise. Uh, and most guys say I smoke a mean peace pipe, so I'm like, woo woo. <laughs> yeah. My dad's crazy. We like watching the news together. He was really worried about me going to Iraq, you know, he's all nervous. My dad tries to look on the bright side of everything, and he tells me, he's like, Sarah. What do you want to get out of it? I was like, I don't know, Dad. At least a lieutenant. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I like... <laughs> or a really big private. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. I don't know. <laughs> we like watching the news together. That's our favorite thing. I love watching the news because it's really funny. Like, there's a story on the news a couple weeks ago about this chimpanzee that's addicted to cigarettes. <laughs> Anybody see that story? Did you see that? I swear. Chimpanzee addicted to cigarettes. He's like smoked all day somewhere in South Africa or South America. Somewhere in the South where it's appropriate to do nothing and smoke all day. I don't know. <laughs> He's smoking like this and like this. I was like, man, if this chimpanzee gets addicted to Bud Light, every single one of my redneck friends will believe in evolution. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Have a good night. I'm Sarah Tiana. Thank you.